What are you afraid of? Psalm 19.9 Written by Brother Josh Gailey Narrated by Brother Jerry Morley Part 1 of Psalm 19.9 says, The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The fear of the Lord is clean. It also leads us to life. Psalm 14 In fact, it's foundational of life. Proverbs 23 Wisdom starts with the fear of the Lord. Psalm 110. It gives us confidence and satisfaction. Proverbs 14 and 19. Fear of anything else equals false evidences appearing real. We get afraid of lots of things. Most of the time our fears, stresses, terrors, sources of panic, come from our own imagination. They come from what might be and aren't based on reality. There is a fear, however, that's very scripturally based on reality. Part 2 reads, The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Although we should not fear the some things in life, we do have someone very real to fear. You see, the judgments of the Lord are true. Hell is real. The love of the Lord also includes perfect justice over the wicked. His judgments will be righteous, and none will dispute it on that wondrous last day. Recognizing that God is perfect, and we are not, is how we begin to have a new, proper perspective on life. Reverential fear of the Lord helpfully shapes us to be more like the Lord Himself. Fear of the Lord brings us to a humbled state of repentance. The repentant spirit, humbled before the Lord, begins afresh with a new understanding and wisdom. The Lord breaks us to build us into his own new creation. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 16-19 The eternal fear of God casts out the temporary fears of this life. That is altogether true and righteous.